Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Tuesday, about 12.47 p.m. in the afternoon here. October 22nd, 2022 is the date. Latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a 4.1 earthquake here across the uh, Philippines region, also 3.2 underneath uh, Sumatra there. Latest quakes there on the globe. Also some movements happening in the Gulf of California down here across the plate boundary. That's important because that could amplify conditions further up north. We also got some activity stirring up in the Gulf of Alaska. USGS not reporting uh, this earthquake down here across the Gulf of California, but it is there. Looking at Southern California's earthquake activity here overnight, nothing above the 2.5 level. Uh, last night when we did the update, we were watching a swarm of earthquake activity here across the eastern edge here of the San Andreas Fault. Today, uh, that swarm has kind of dropped off a little bit, but we're still seeing some areas of increasing movement out here across Southern California. A couple of the latest quakes, 1.7 near the Apple Valley area, 1.8 further down south here. And scattered activity up and down the region uh, with a couple of earthquakes there right smack dab on the San Andreas Fault. That's going to be these two earthquakes here. Uh, from Those are actually from yesterday uh, as a part of a swarm out here across the area. Um, even though things are somewhat, somewhat quieter in terms of, uh, you know, anything above 2.5 still. Uh, we're getting some activity out here across the area area of Southern California. Uh, Bakersfield region near Grapevine. This is a region that's seen the 5.2 earthquake here a few weeks back. And normally when we see things pick up out here across this area of the state, uh, that uh, will, in sync, go along with other areas of uptick here across Southern California. So uh, Ridgecrest picking up a little bit. Got some movement over here across Death Valley uh, with a 2.1, one of the latest quakes there in that area. So uh, we'll continue to keep an eye here on Southern California as, um, you know, today is a new day. Today could be the big day. Tomorrow could be the big day when we get a big earthquake. It could be any time now. Uh, further up north here across the area of the Bay region, I believe most of these here from yesterday. Let me zoom in here specifically for this area. Yeah, the majority of these quakes here from yesterday on the Calaveras Fault. We even had a, a couple earthquakes there on the uh, Hayward Fault. Those have since dropped off. And a couple smaller quakes there on the San Andreas Fault outside of San Francisco. Still got a massive amount of earthquake activity up here across the Clear Lake Volcanic Field. That is a hydrothermal plants out there uh, in full swing producing energy. And uh, there's a number of uh, facilities out there that utilize the heated areas below to uh, produce uh, energy that powers the homes out there across the, uh, I believe it's the North Bay region. Rest of Northern California, pretty quiet. Nothing going on through the Cascadia subduction zone for now. We'll check trimmer out there uh, a little bit later on this evening. Yesterday, trimmer activity was uh, zero. So nothing going on in terms of trimmer activity. Seems like uh, when we get that trimmer activity on the uptick, that's when we get the increasing movement, crustal quakes here across the area of the Cascades, even the earthquake activity like we've seen uh, along the Cascadia in the last 30 days. We had a, a little bit of movement out here, nothing big, but it's it was showing. Definitely uh, quite strained out there across the area when we see elevated trimmer. Uh, up into Montana, a little bit of uh, movement from yesterday, it looks like. 2.5. One more earthquake in there today. Yellowstone National Park. Nothing showing up there. Uh, too significant. Very small microquake activity. I'm going to double check that here real quick on the Yellowstone Overview. This is a seismograph station layout here of Yellowstone. The caldera right there in the black outline. Yellowstone Lake. Lake Yellowstone there in the blue. And uh, in general, things look pretty quiet out here. Not a whole lot going on. Looks like maybe some wind events out here across this area, or maybe a reamplification, readjustment of that seismograph station there across uh, Old Faithful. But literally, uh, I'm not seeing anything of any significant earthquake discussion there today across Yellowstone. The rest of the country out here, as you can see, fairly uh, fairly quiet. Mostly smaller microquakes outside the oil fields here. And one earthquake in the New Madrid seismic zone, a little 1.5. But overall, not a whole lot going on there across the North American area in terms of larger movement. Uh, in the last 24 hours, the largest magnitude here going to be a 5.5. A deep earthquake here into the Tonga Trench once again. 
285 miles deep here for that 5.5. So that thing, uh, that, that deep earthquake should definitely stir things up out in the area. We'll watch for some further movement across the region today. Uh, it always, it never fails. Deep earthquake activity uh, ultimately leads to surface adjustment. But goodness, we got one deep earthquake here in the uh, Mariana Trench, it looks like. That's a 4.4. Uh, Let me see. Yeah, that's going to be this earthquake here from late last night, 306 miles deep. So we got deep activity up north, down south. Definitely watch this area in between the two. Uh, could be seeing some larger scale activity once these, uh, once these deeper quakes here put the strain and squeeze on the area. Still getting that clustering going on here across the Indonesia Islands area with some back building here across the plate boundary. That's why I'm saying watch this area further along the region here it's pretty quiet on the usgs map and the emsc but uh, deeper quakes near it and up north here should put the strain on that area uh, just makes sense here because that's a general plate motion here of the uh, pacific plate and the interaction there with the australia plate deeper quakes here across the tonga trench ultimately leading to further strain out here across this area right here What we got going on up north? A little swarm of activity up there across the, uh, well, north of Greenland. This looks like some older movement quakes here from last night. Some fours and threes stirring up out there. Um, I don't even know if I can pick it up here on the USGS map. It won't go up that far. So we're not seeing that on uh, the USGS side, but definitely here on the EMSC model. Got a swarm of activity up here. North of Iceland, obviously Iceland uh, right here, well north top of the globe three-pointer there in Alaska that's uh, inland a little bit uh, that's actually gonna be on the Canada side here of the uh, of the border 3.0 and a 2.5 uh, those are actually from yesterday but uh, looking on the globe here that almost looks like some newer activity Oh, there we go. That's going to be 2.5 here that USGS is reporting. Three-pointer from yesterday, 2.5 here from today uh, near Covenant Life, Alaska. Really nothing major going on across the rest of the area there for Alaska. Hawaii got uh, some movement stirring up out here across the Pahala area and Mauna Loa up here on the eastern flank. But really nothing major going on. Majority of these quakes fairly deep underneath the area a quick glance at the inflation charts here across the hawaii area see what we got up at the kilauea volcano summit area i don't know what this was last night or yesterday some weird event and then it drops again i don't see any any uh, reason for that unless we got magma being displaced down there but we're not seeing any elevated seismic activity there that should follow or should uh accompany the adjustment here on the graph. So I'm, I'm not for sure if that's manual adjustment or what. Um, but yeah, it looks like uh, back earlier this month here, well, about a week or so ago, a huge drop was noted, but that is not um, anything of geological significance or seismic activity. This is a manual adjustment here. And since then, it doesn't look like they've uh, got it back up here. It looks like it's just offline in terms of the um, past month of data. And even so, this looks a little suspicious here. I'm not for sure what's going on with their reporting stations out here. But um, definitely got some odd readings going on. And I don't think it has to do with anything underneath the ground. All the tilt meters are offline. Um see what we got over here across the Middle East Rift Zone. This one's up. Really nothing of major concern there or any major change. But like I say, some of that, uh, some of those readings there on the summit tilt meter are just a little off. No, Nothing really going on on the seismograph stations out here. Pretty quiet. Uh, a couple smaller, smaller earthquakes there in the background noise of that seismograph. Aside from that, let's see what else we got out here across the globe. Another 1.5 coming into California. 
Let's see where that's at. Pine Valley, further down south here. So just watch it. Been somewhat elevated over here in the last 24 hours in terms of the multitude of quakes and in some uh, some interesting locations here, just like off the San Andreas Fault here. That's a little interesting to say the least. With that little swarm last night, we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, Middle America Trench, it looks like working its way down south here towards the Costa Rica area. 4.1 and a couple other smaller quakes there in the mix of earthquake activity down here across the southern end of the plate boundary. South America region um, starting to spread out a little bit, looks like here. Over the past couple days, most of the movement here have been confined to the Peru Chile Trench. Starting to spread north and a little bit south here. So we got some adjustment going on here across this major subduction zone. Nothing big going on, but uh, a couple fours out there across the area. Mediterranean region, fairly quiet today. Not seeing anything of significant value out there. All right, so let's check out space weather. See if we got a little view of our active region. This... 1022-1944 UTC time, 1944, so that is current, but this image here looks identical to last night. There's this odd feature out here, just showing off some large magnetic lines here, arches in the uh, above the sunspot area. Looks identical to yesterday. I'm wondering if, was this the same image? Have they updated it? Hard to say. Let me check out uh, a couple different images here. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, okay, so there's our other sunspot area back here. This was not visible last night, so we're getting a little view of 38, uh, ooh, what is that, 3842, if I remember right. It is now 3868. Well, see, this one's older. This image is a little bit older. We're now able to see the other sunspot that's back behind 3868. And that's going to be this area right here. Just barely visible, uh, but quite active in terms of uh, the uh, complexity there. And that's going to be sunspot number 3842. Here's 3844, which is now both of these are actually visible now on the eastern limb this is a day behind or more uh, so these are more into position here across the eastern limb visible we're just barely getting a glimpse of 3842 3842 is responsible for producing the largest solar flare this cycle back when it was back around the earth facing side of the sun um, earlier this month that x 9.0 so so far the largest flare this cycle that is coming back around the bend again as a newly it's gonna be a newly named sunspot probably 38 uh, I'm guessing it's gonna be 3869 here unless they rename this one and this one to be 3870 uh, who knows but either way they're former sunspots and they're coming back around the bend this one looks fairly active I think we'll see some uptick in space weather activity here uh, obviously you know they're flaring right now with uh, some significant uh, activity consistently uh, also up here on the northeastern limb got uh, some, a little interesting sunspot to watch as well um, so right now flare threat only a five percent chance for the X flare but that's gonna jump up here pretty soon I have a feeling uh, M flare at 50 C flare around 99 percent chance no major auroras in the forecast here for now folks severe weather nothing um, this is just general thunderstorm activity out there across these areas. Really not expecting anything for severe wise. Severe weather uh, is limited right now. And that's probably a good thing, right? Uh, looking at the weather models here as we put this into motion. Got uh, really nothing major coming up here uh, this week. Towards the weekend, got some storm systems coming up here across Northern California, Pacific Northwest. Bringing with it the chances of rain and snow in the higher elevations. And um, yeah, some cooler weather, which uh, I will enjoy. 
There's that hurricane out there south of Florida around the 5th of November. Last night it was much closer to Florida. See how things can change this far out. So not really paying too much attention to this tropical system until we get uh, a few days closer to that time period. But uh, as of right now, it shows it holding off the tip of Florida and getting scooted off to the Atlantic. See what we got here for any pressure differences. There's a sweeping low pressure there for California. The entire west, it looks like, even down to Southern California, getting in on some cooler weather. Chances of rain as well as we head towards the end of the month. Uh, right now, <clears throat> Halloween time period. Excuse me. <clears throat> looks like it's going to be above average temperatures out here across the eastern portion of the country. A little bit cooler out here across the Midwest or the uh, Intermountain West areas. High pressure, it looks like it's starting to build back in behind that. I'm not not a fan of that, but hey, uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully this changes by then. Either way, um, you know, the patterns are definitely switching up out here. Getting quite interesting for sure as we head towards the winter time here in the northern hemisphere. All right, seismograph stations out here, uh, fairly quiet. Not seeing uh, anything of significant value out here. We'll keep an eye on things out here today and see how see how it plays. Have a good Tuesday. We'll catch you guys out here a little bit later on this evening. Stay safe out there.